Today, our communities face a growing number of transportation challenges. As traffic volumes grow and congestion worsens, motorists, pedestrians, and cyclists confront greater risks at intersections. We need balanced solutions that improve safety and keep people moving. At the Federal Highway Administration, our first priority is safety, and our mission is to improve mobility for the users of our nation's highways. In support of these goals, we've been evaluating innovative intersection designs for many years. Where they have been built, travelers save time, agencies save money, and communities benefit from safer facilities. One innovative intersection design, the median U-turn, mitigates the risks of the left-hand turn. The driver passes through the main intersection and proceeds to a median opening, where the driver makes a U-turn followed by a right turn. Alternative intersections are, are worth considering because they deliver more for less. They, they get more cars through the same spaces than a conventional intersection and they deliver better safety than a conventional intersection. At many intersections, the critical question is how to address left turns. How they are treated has an impact on the efficiency of the intersection and can reduce a crash type that tends to be quite severe. The left turns at the intersection are the highest risk turns, so if you can eliminate those, you're significantly eliminating those higher risk turns and the, the number of conflict points at those intersections. Yeah, I, I would definitely say that we respond to, to less um, incidents at this intersection now that there is a Michigan turnaround in both um, areas, both north and south. The median U-turn, or Michigan left, where it has been in use since the 1960s, removes the left turns from the signal-controlled intersection on either the minor or major road, or in some cases, both. Roadways that have median U-turns can punch huge amounts of traffic through there. As you can take intersections with 80, 90, 100,000 vehicles per day and run those intersections with a two-phase traffic signal. The median U-turn treatment involves the elimination of the direct left turns at signal-controlled intersections from major and or minor approaches. To make a left at a median U-turn, the driver passes through the main intersection and proceeds to a median opening, where the driver makes a U-turn followed by a right turn. Drivers on the minor road who want to turn left onto the major road must first turn right at the signal-controlled intersection and then execute a U-turn at the downstream median opening and proceed back through the signalized intersection. Guide signs are provided and inform motorists as they approach the intersection. The median U-turns themselves may or may not be signalized. The Michigan left treatment is one of our safest roadway design next to the freeway. This design reduces crashes by uh, decreasing the conflicts and also alleviate congestion. The median U-turns concept is also very adaptable. Although typically a corridor treatment, it has also been used successfully for isolated intersections to address a left turn hazard. Median U-turn treatments can be applied at interchanges as well. Median U-turns have been implemented along roadways with both narrow and wide medians. When the median width is narrow, extra pavement or loons or bump outs can be installed to accommodate larger vehicles. Relocating the left turn reduces the number and complexity of conflicts between traffic and pedestrians and bicyclists, especially at the far side of the turn. Instead of being used for left turn lanes, the median space at the intersection between opposing directions of traffic can instead be designed as a pedestrian refuge area, allowing people to cross the intersection in two shorter, safer stages. The highest risk issue for pedestrians is the drivers in the left turning vehicles. But when they're only dealing with the right turning vehicles in front of them, it tends to be easier for the pedestrians and the, there's more visibility for the pedestrians as they're crossing the roadway. The median U-turn can reduce the number of signal phases at the intersections in some cases by as much as half, resulting in significantly improved efficiency. Studies have shown a 20 to 50 percent increase in capacity. 
Well, we can improve capacity so traffic is more free flow through the area. We're only operating a two-phase signal as compared to an eight-phase where you have direct left turns at it. The crossover signal will go green in advance of the main intersection so that the platoon is gathered. And then the main intersection will go green so that everybody's together, all the vehicles are together as they drive through the corridor. This provides us with better progression. We get more capacity out of the intersection. Median U-turns can be tailored to a variety of surrounding conditions. Median U-turns exist along heavy freight corridors, highly developed retail boulevards, busy regional arterials, and even local streets. The, the good niche for a median U-turn is two busy streets, two rather large volume arterial streets with relatively low left turn demand. Michigan has constructed median U-turns along corridors all throughout the state, going back more than four decades. Other states, including Utah and Louisiana, have built median U-turns with plans to build more in the future. By reducing the number of conflict points, the median U-turns result in safer intersections and roadways as compared to conventional signalized intersections. Moreover, the median U-turn design can be less costly and quicker to build than a conventional design. And finally, the median U-turn is an especially robust intersection solution, capable of effectively serving user needs and accommodating growth well into the future. The Federal Highway Administration encourages communities and agencies to consider the median U-turn to improve the safety and efficiency of existing intersections as well as an option for new intersections. For more information about the median U-turn and other innovative intersection designs, please visit safety.fhwa.dot.gov.